Toyota's new CEO just made a shocking announcement that Toyota will be making their EVs manual from now on. Why is Toyota shifting to making manual gearbox EVs, and how will it actually function? Let's see why the new Toyota CEO announces that they will no longer be making manual transmissions. Toyota has been killing it lately. They've completely transformed their brand image. They went from being the makers of cheap and faceless Econo boxes into the brand that's one of the last true car enthusiast-oriented brands. Seriously, they've been listening to their fan base ever since the current gen Toyota Supra arrived, and they addressed all the major issues and complaints, most notably of which was the lack of a manual transmission. Their motorsport division, Gazoo Racing, more commonly known as GR, has also been making wonders in the hot hatch segment, as the Toyota Yaris GR and Toyota Corolla GR offer an experience that's so unfiltered and raw that you just can't help the ever present grin on your face while driving one. The manual gearbox is is buttery smooth while being extremely precise and fast to shift. While their chassis and suspension, especially the Yaris's, have been tweaked and balanced to the point that they're virtually go-karts. Seriously, if you haven't tried out the Yaris GR, be sure to rent it for a day or two and see what kind of fun you've been missing out on. Plus, one of the most adored, affordable sports car coupes out there, the Toyota GR86, which is a successor to the critically acclaimed Toyota GT86, recently got a much-needed engine update, and its 2.4-liter flat four currently produces over 230 horsepower, which allows the car to go from 0 to 60 in only 5.4 seconds. This, coupled with its lightweight chassis and rear-wheel drive, makes the GR86 one of the best bang-for-your-buck sports car in the market today, especially if you take into consideration its MSRP of around $28,000. All of this has been done under Toyota's previous CEO, Akio Toyota. However, Akio unfortunately decided to step down from his position on the 1st of April of this year, and he was succeeded by Koji Sato, who was the president of Lexus, Toyota's luxury brand. Many people were skeptical when he was announced as a successor to Akio Toyota, and they were scared that he might soften the brand and make it much more luxury-oriented, while also focusing exclusively on EVs. Everyone thought that there really wasn't an adequate replacement for Akio Toyota, as he managed to bring the brand to even higher levels than ever. However, Sato proved everyone wrong, as he announced that Toyota will, from now on, be focusing primarily on sports cars, both electric and traditional, which made everyone ecstatic. Moreover, Koji sought to announce that they'll be making electric cars that will, from now on, utilize manual transmissions, similar to those found in regular vehicles. But why is Toyota shifting to make manual gearbox EVs? Well, the major reason behind that is that they plan on dominating the EV enthusiast segment, and making cars that are different from anything else on the road will most certainly grant them that. Toyota has long been skeptical of EVs, and their first, and for now, the only entry in this segment is a Toyota BZ4X, which has received high praise. However, everybody agreed that Toyota was 10 years too late to do anything major with it, as it's for all intents and purposes a regular old crossover. Well, Toyota has decided to enter the segment much more aggressively and actually start putting out all kinds of EVs with features that were unseen on electric vehicles, and the biggest change will be the fact that they'll utilize a manual transmission, which would make them stand out completely from the crowd. EVs have been around for more than a decade now. However, they've practically remained identical ever since they first became popular. Sure, the Tesla Model S Plaid, with its 1.9 second 0 to 60 time, is mind blowingly quick. However, there's only so much fun you can have from literally letting the car achieve such a speed. The only thing you're effectively doing is pressing the accelerator pedal, which is not particularly fun. Fascinating? Yes, but it grows old pretty quickly. Just imagine having full control over the power output of your electric vehicle and being fully engaged while driving it. You'd need to think about when to shift, how to properly do it, and above all else, you'll actually have fun while doing it. Plus, that'll easily attract numerous diehard petrol heads that simply won't accept anything other than a manual transmission. Imagine seeing a group of the largest EV nemesis becoming one of the biggest EV enjoyers with the release of a singular feature. Honestly, we give our kudos to Sato, as the man is literally about to solve one of the biggest and most pressing conflicts amongst car enthusiasts in the first few months of being the CEO of Toyota. However, we still need to discuss the functionality of a manual transmission in EVs, which therefore begs the question, how will it actually function? Well, the manual transmission won't be a traditional manual per se. You see, EVs have utilized a single-speed gearbox 
contrary to regular gas-powered vehicles, which usually have a multi-speed gearbox to deliver the power to the wheels. The only technically single-speed transmission that's actually being fitted to regular cars is actually the CVT, which is, well, less than popular among drivers to say the least, and there really isn't any real-world benefits of using CVTs. EVs are actually the complete polar opposite of regular cars, as their fast-spinning electric motors simply don't need a multi-gear transmission. In Toyota's case, their manual transmission patent reveals that the gearbox won't actually have different gears. Instead, the shifter will actually be connected to numerous sensors, an essential computer program will actually monitor the car's performance and adequately mimic the feel of a vehicle that's been fitted with the manual transmission. You'd be happy to hear that this won't be a paddle shifter semi-automatic gearbox or anything similar to this, as Toyotas will actually come with an H-shifter and a clutch pedal to complete the experience. This means that you'll be able to downshift and upshift into virtually any speed you want to, which therefore means that you'll be able to brake by engine, which is, for those of you who never drove a stick shift, when the driver selects a lower gear and releases the clutch pedal without adding any gas, which allows the friction of the unpowered engine to naturally slow down the car without the use of the brake pedal. Now, admittedly, this will all be an imitation of a manual gearbox, and this might sound disheartening and fake to you, as you might think that there won't be any benefits of properly driving the car, and you might think that there won't be any repercussions of the driver abusing the vehicle's gearbox. However, we have to inform you that you'd be wrong. The drivers will experience malfunctions when using the gearbox badly, and the car will actually respond similarly to what real cars do when under such stress. For example, if the driver decides not to give the car enough gas, the car will start shaking, just as if it were stalling. On the other hand, if the driver decides to give it too much gas, or if he shifts into the wrong gear, the car will start vibrating and bucking, as if it were redlining. Oh, and while on the topic of changing gears, you'll be delighted to hear that Toyota is planning on implementing a sound system that'll allow the driver to literally drive by ear, just as if you were driving a regular stick shift. So, those that are switching from typical vehicles will have enough time and help to adjust to the way manual EVs function. And you know what's the best part of all this? Toyota will in fact offer this on all of their upcoming EVs. Now, some of you might see a problem here, as admittedly, not everyone wants to drive an EV that requires you to actually shift gears. Who can blame you, as the whole point of them is to be more practical and carefree, and forcing people to think about changing gears on time is everything but practical. Practical. Well, that's where the need part comes in. You won't be forced to use the manual transmission if you don't want to. With the press of a button, you'll be able to choose between driving a stick shift or a regular old single gear EV. So, if you're in the mood for a classic blast from the past kind of fun, you'll easily be able to transform your vehicle into something more rudimentary and engaging. And on the other hand, if you're just up for a casual cruise, you'll be able to switch into a regular, boring EV that'll require you to occasionally steer it and charge it. Furthermore, some of you might think that these added features might impact the battery life of the vehicle, and well, you'd be right there. There won't be any major penalties. However, the system that quote-unquote punishes the driver will use a fair bit of electrical energy to shake the entire car. Nothing major, as Toyota's engineers have developed it so it can't damage the car. However, enough to kill your vibe when you run out of oomph 10 miles earlier than planned. Plus, the car will also use up more energy because of the sensors and the computer that'll need to monitor the performance of the vehicle and if it needs to shift or not, which is, yet again, not practical in the long run. Lastly, some of you might say this feature is pointless and that nobody asked for it, as it really doesn't benefit the car or the driver in terms of practicality or anything. And albeit, you are technically right, we have to disagree with you, as not everything needs to be practical and logical. Some things should exist solely because they're fun, quirky, and unusual, and this manual transmission is exactly that. So if you're one of those people that dislike this new transmission, stop being so technical and start having some fun. In a world full of EVs that are becomingly increasingly bland and identical to one another. Toyota managed to find a way to spice things up a bit and make the segment fresh again. Who cares if it's artificial? The only thing that matters is the fact that Toyota is still willing to experiment and please its audience and customers, and we salute them for that. We really can't wait for the arrival of the manual transmission, and as we've already said, we couldn't care less about the technicalities behind it. If other car companies experimented as much as Toyota does, and if people didn't immediately condemn any kind of changes, the industry won't feel nor look as faceless as it currently is. Eh, one can only wish. However, some wishes do come true, and we believe that we're not the only ones that wish to see an actual affordable EV. Well, we're glad to inform you that there's a new kit on the block, and it's actually to be priced at around $20,000, which is unheard of. Oh, and the best part about this is the fact that this new EV will be made by none other than Tesla. And if you'd like to see more about this dream come true, be sure to check out this video.